Hello, this is a review of the Monster Power Center, the HTS-1000 Mark III. Now this is an excellent power center. Now what it basically is, is a very beeped up power strip with excellent surge protection. Now the biggest thing that I was looking for with this device is the clean power technology. Now a lot of this could be hoopla um, for different purposes that most people's power probably doesn't need to be cleaned. However, there are definitely going to be some cases that you might have uh, power in surges and different issues in your house. And I know for a fact that I have some power issues in my house. You know, lights are always flickering, um, lights come on when there's seemingly, you know, nothing else going on, that they just, uh, they just turn on. And it's not because of paranormal activity, it's just because something is toggling things on or off uh, just because of uh, power surges or dips here or there. And I know that my voltage varies a whole lot in my house. So I, I used to have my TiVos used to reboot, uh, freeze up and reboot more frequently. So what I ended up doing is uh, once I got some power centers with the power clean power technology built in and put them on all of my DVRs and TiVos and... Uh, they stopped rebooting and stopped having the problems they had before. Now, I don't personally buy into the fact that it would actually improve your video or audio quality, but I do believe that you're going to find that um, if you are suffering any problems because of that, um, you'll find that it works out nicely. So, um, I get power spikes all the time, and I think the culprit is from my dimmers in my, ha my house as well. So I'll talk about a few things in a minute. So the first things to no notice is that aside from just being easy to use, like oh, there's lots of room between these, everything is labeled. Now stage two versus stage one or stage three really only means how many isolated banks. So in this particular one, there's a, the, the left side is one bank, the right side is another bank, and I believe they, can, they consider if you separate video from audio, they believe the separate filters are going to have some additional benefit which I, I really can't comment on uh, before. Now I've bought two of these now. So I actually own three. I have the Mark II as one of them and I own two Mark III's just because these are what's available now uh, in this model. And I got it for my computer area now because I've had a whole lot of problems with my previous computer and I was starting to think, gee, if I had the problems with the TiVos, why didn't I think to do this earlier on my computers to make sure that they're protected? And I'm extremely happy I did so because um, I know that my garbage disposal, every time I run it, um, it causes this thing to toggle off because there's a power surge uh, from that. So I'll, yes, I'll, one day I'll go fix my garbage disposal and find out why it's causing the power issues in the house for that. Uh, but who knows what that was doing to my devices before that. So what this guy does is over here, if I zoom in, we see a protection on mode right here and a grounded OK. Um, so it basically snaps off and disconnects your devices. So basically I'm careful not to run my garbage disposal while the computer's on because I don't have a power backup on this thing here. Uh, but that's it's doing its job when it does that. And... Um, they give you a flat plug here so that it can more easily slip behind things. Uh, what else? Let's see. Um, uh, this is something that, that I had mentioned before in my review that when I toggle the one side on, I get a buzzing in my house. Now you really can barely hear it right now, but depending on different times, it gets louder or not. And this is the switch that controls the left bank over here of the particular switch. So because I can't stand the buzzing that I'm getting out of it, I've just plugged everything on the right hand side. Now to be fair, I don't think it's the fault of this manufacturer at all. However, it makes me wonder, gee, why doesn't this size buzz that's always on? Why is it only when I toggle this on does it start to buzz? Um, maybe there's something different in the circuitry. But in my house, I notice that it only buzzes when I have the dimmer on. Or, or when my lights are on. And my lights are all on dimmers all throughout the house, um, even when they're on full. So the dimmer circuitry seems to be causing the problem. So um, if you have dimmer switches in the same room, you'll probably get a little bit of buzzing. And I've noticed that on the different rooms with different models of this, the Mark III's um, and the Mark II, I get different results. Like the Mark II in my living room, I don't have any problem at all. But the Mark III that I have 
in, a, in two different places, I get different amounts of buzzing. This was the most, that, and I actually disconnected one of the two sides, whereas at, in my bedroom, where I have another home theater center, I use both sides, leave it on all the time without a problem. So um, I think it's great if you want to use it for its purpose, um, otherwise it is a massive surge protector um, and makes things convenient to use. So it works great for me. Um, I consider it essential because of the power problems that I have in this room. Um, thanks. Thanks for watching the review.